This is a Hess's Law example, and I really like Hess's Law. It's like a puzzle that you have to fit together. So your puzzle pieces are going to be some reactions. In this case, we have two, and you need to manipulate those so that they add up to an overall equation. In this specific example, your overall equation is a combustion reaction, and it's given in um, as a word equation, and you actually have to write the formula. So that's the first part that we'll do. As we read the word equation, we see that there's the combustion of carbon plus oxygen to give you carbon monoxide. Now we do have to make some assumptions here. It would be carbon in its solid form, which would be its standard state. Oxygen, which don't, don't forget is diatomic, that would be in its gaseous form. And then carbon monoxide um, would, would likely be a gas. We need to make sure that this is balanced. So we need a coefficient of two in front of the carbon monoxide and also in front of the carbon to make. So now we're gonna take our puzzle pieces and we are going to manipulate them so that they add up to this overall equation down here at the bottom. There are multiple ways to do this, just like when you're putting together a puzzle, but I'm gonna just focus on my product in my overall equation, which is carbon monoxide. So I only see carbon monoxide in one spot. So I'm going to start there. Now you'll notice overall, I want my carbon monoxide on the product side, but here it's given in the reactant side. So what that means is that I have to flip this equation. I have to make the reactants the products and vice versa. When I do that, what I'm gonna to do to my delta H is I'm gonna flip the sign. So in this case, it's gonna become positive. If it were to already be a positive, when I flip the sign, obviously it'd become a negative. I've recopied the first puzzle piece, which is the second reaction, and I flipped it. So the product is now the reactant. If I go to write down the delta H, because I flipped the reaction, I'm gonna make that a positive instead of a negative sign. So positive, 283. I'm going to forgo the point zero for now. Now, if you look down here, you see we have two carbon monoxides and here there's only one. So what we want to do is we want to multiply this entire equation by two. So we'll put a two in front of the carbon monoxide, a two in front of the carbon dioxide, and then we'll multiply the one half by a two. So we just get a one in front of the oxygen. You're totally allowed to do that, but whatever you do to the reaction, you're also gonna have to do to the delta H value. So it's going to be positive 283 times two. So the good news is we have our two carbon monoxides, which is exactly what we want here, but we don't have any carbon or oxygen on the reactant side yet. Plus we have a few things like the carbon dioxide and the oxygen on our product side that we have to get rid of or we have to cancel out. So going back to this first reaction, you can see, oh, okay, the two reactants that we want, the carbon solid and the oxygen gas, those are in that first reaction. They're already as the reactant, so we don't need to flip this one. I copied this first reaction, I put it right down here. Now, as you can see in the final, we have a two in front of the carbon. So I will multiply this reaction by two. Um, and you might say, but there isn't a two in front of the oxygen here. And that is correct. However, remember we have an oxygen on the product side, so that's actually going to cancel. Okay, so let's see if, if this works out so far. Um, if we look at the delta H, we have a negative, and we can keep the negative because we did not reverse the reaction, 393.5, but we just multiplied it by two. So let's multiply that by two. And then um, let's cross out anything that fully cancels. So you can see down in this reaction, we don't have any carbon dioxide. So that means we wanna get rid of this carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide. So if we have two on the reactant side and two on the product side, that's going to fully cancel. So we will cross both of these out. And then if you take a look at other things that cancel, it's actually this one oxygen cancels fully these two oxygens, however, don't. However, one of them does. So now we only have one oxygen there. So in um, this aqua color, I'll underline 
what we have left. On our reactant side, we have two carbon solids. We have one oxygen gas. That's it. And then on our product side, we have two carbon monoxide gases. And if you look down to the final overall equation, that's exactly what we have. So, so far, these have all added up. We've manipulated our delta H's as necessary. And then the last thing to do is to simply add these up. So multiply the positive 283 by 2 and the negative 393.5 by 2 and then add those up. And that's you'll get an overall delta H of negative 221.0 kilojoules. So even though we didn't know the delta H for this final reaction, using other reactions that added up to that, we could figure out the delta H. And that process is called Hess's law. Hess's law only works because delta H or, or change in enthalpy is what is called a state function. So it doesn't matter what pathway you take to get to the final answer.